So guys, we've just hit new highs for the year on BTC. Things are feeling quite bullish. We had a little else flush out as well uh, this afternoon and possibly gave us some more entries. We saw yesterday we were calling that reversal and we got some decent moves of some good areas on these altcoins. Now we've broken a lot of trends and we've come back and we've retested a couple. So there are potential uh, few new entries available for us, for those of you that weren't brave enough to jump in yesterday and get some of those moves so today we are talking a little bit more btc stuff i uh, we, we still sort of on the fence here as if we're getting a dump here or not nobody actually knows but i'm going to give you my opinion we're going to look at a couple of things then altcoin wise i'm looking at eth uh, again i'm looking at lido i'm looking at another one on the eth network ssv then i'm talking stacks neutron again celestia and obviously we're updating bonk because bonk gave us something like uh, 25 30 percent last night so uh, yeah a lot to talk about guys let's get right into it So these bubbles are looking quite good. Uh, the, the big shiners here, Bonk, uh, really performed well for us. We saw uh, Celestia again. You can see we got an 18% move here. Uh, that thing really pumped nicely. In fact, pretty much everything we touched yesterday gave us a move. We had uh, various indicators telling us we were getting a move. We had the stochastics reset. The, the signs were just there that we were going to get a pump. And the last time we were in a condition or a situation like that, we got three trades in a row, uh, three days in a row as well. So is the market going to give this to us? Um, if it is today is the day this is our opportunity now uh, to jump into some of these more else so uh, let's uh, let's just take a look at the news currently and uh, I mean this BTC keeps pumping because these guys are just coming with bullish ETF news non-stop uh, these Valkyrie guys expect uh, spot uh, BTC ETFs to go effective Wednesday and they want to start trading on Thursday so guys I mean it's right here they, they're threatening big money uh, that they're going to be putting into these things so uh, I have run a poll at the moment uh, with you guys and uh, I'm trying to get a feel for the sentiment out there uh, at the moment I see only 200 of you had voted so far so just let me know here in the polls uh, we saying is this going to give us a pump or are we going to get a dump on the news so far it looks like 63 percent are saying we're going to get a pump uh, i don't want to see too many bullish vibes here um but uh, guys fill in the fill in the poll there i want to see your thoughts uh, on this etf news um again we still we still don't know but what we need to do is plan for both scenarios okay so for for me personally i've started de-risking on a lot of my a uh, lot of my trades i'm trading a lot less while we wait uh, i am obviously in a few positions here but again i, I don't want to not be in some positions in case we pump but i also don't want to be in too many positions uh, in case we get some kind of mega dump so i'm just a little bit of a balanced approach for me i'm just seeing the, the votes coming in here guys so keep uh, keep letting me know is it a pump is it a dump or is it a flat BTC and uh, these alts going to rip? So this is the BTC fear and index uh, guide. And uh, this is also a nice one for you guys to follow on Twitter. And at the moment, we are in extreme greed. Now, we have seen this uh, a lot higher. We have seen it beyond uh, the 76 level. But again, guys, the signs are here. Uh, that uh, we are getting a little bit greedy uh, on BTC. So just again, another sign of a potentially a little bit of uh, caution and uh, Rec Capital, they dropped a nice little chart here for us today. And uh, they were looking at the bull market progress. You can see uh, on the left here, we've got our 2015 uh, bull market situation here. And you can see we pumped into it. And then there was a mega move from around 700 to about 20K uh, was that move. Then 2019, you can see we dumped just before uh, this halving. And then we had a nice little pump uh, to the highs. And now we are, uh, look, a couple of months away here. Uh, from uh, our April target. So let's see what happens. A, a couple of candles still to come here. Uh, 2019 gave us a mega dump here. If you look at that uh, that monthly candle in 2019, that's enough to wreck uh, a lot of these altcoins. Uh, 2015, not so bad. They actually pumped into it and dumped afterwards. So again, uh, look, time's going to tell you. We got a, we got two more candles to go on this guy. And uh, let's see how that plays out. But a nice little graphic there from him. Uh, and then the bullish news. Now, uh, if you guys have been around watching me for a while, you know my views on these golden crosses. And, uh, you know, especially the 50 day and the 200 day when we get that scenario. A lot of the time, by the time we get a golden cross or a death cross, the opposite move happens. And here we go. For the first time in history, we now have a golden cross on the weekly uh, oscillators here. So 50 week moving average, 200 week moving average, golden cross. And uh, if you zoom into this guy a little bit, uh, it looks like we might have to come back and just visit 
some of these MAs potentially. So I don't want to discount the fact that uh, there is a potential sell-off coming. We just need to play with what is in front of us, though. Um, there's another cool guy to follow. He's saying, look, if we get a dump down crypto trades, quite a nice, uh, quite a nice account to follow. Um, and he's already given his little uh, meme coin list if we do get a mega dump. And uh, I must say, I quite agree with it. Uh, Bonk, Pepe, Doge, Cock and Toshi, they are all decent uh, meme coins. So if we do get some kind of mega dump, um, not a bad view uh, on meme coins from Don Crypto Trade. So take a look there. Right, let's get into the juice here. Uh, let's get into the actual trading stuff. So uh, first things first, let's just see where we are on this two hour uh, BTC situation. And uh, you can see we've broken new highs and <laughs> these fibs, I mean, I can't get enough of these fibs guys. And if you're not trading with fibs, just, just get, a, get them in your life. A little bit i mean look at this we had btc print a new high here and what did they do they came back and they wicked this 382 perfectly and you saw today a lot of these altcoins they wicked down they hit their 618s they hit their 382s they hit their horizontal supports as btc dropped uh into that 382 so for those of you that aren't using fibs i can't stress enough just get it on your charts just use it even as if it's as confluence uh for the other things that you are using but uh, always a great guide for us so right here levels for us today that i'm watching right now 45 600 this is a hot pullback zone for us next pullback zone for me 44 700 that's my next hot zone so these are the downside levels we are watching for to, for today let's look at the upside okay is the story playing out this is btc again on the weekly and uh, slowly my flag got broken they are slowly pushing us into our target and uh, you know normally when you get a mega rejection you sometimes actually get quite a quick pump uh, into that area but right now they're just bleeding us slowly into that so makes me think if we do get some kind of bullish pump on the news and they are going to wreck us afterwards well uh, i'm start now starting to get a feel that we might actually want to visit a little bit higher so again this is this uh, 52k level uh, this little box over here um, this is now coming into uh, the equation for me so if we do get some kind of uh, announcement and and the market wants to quickly send it the wrong way first and they choose to pump it quickly i would say look out still 48k and look out 51.5 those are the two areas that i'm watching closely uh, at the moment flow j says fib levels are real bangers guys these fibs are real bangers uh, african spear says the music is too much come on bro this is our special special trading music it's very important uh, that we have this music guys uh, let's see who else is here. Uh, Rich maybe says volatility week time for trades. Yeah, look, you're absolutely right. But uh, again, we, we've got to be ready when that volatility comes. We've got to make sure we know our areas, we know our zones and uh, what we're looking for. Let's see who else is here. Rudy's in the chats. Uh, Rudy says we need some good news today. Yes, we damn well do. We do, do need some good news here. Um, but look, guys, anyway, we're having fun. And uh, the more the volatility, right, it, it is fun. Like sometimes we're going to get smashed, but uh, sometimes we're going to absolutely kill it as long as we're getting it uh, in our areas. Right now, let's look at, uh, let's just update these two from yesterday. Stacks and Audi, we've got to keep our eyes on them. They're topical, BTC's ripping, and uh, Audi and Stacks, you know, we, we'll just watch them with BTC. So uh, no real changes here for Stacks other than the fact that it matches BTC almost to the button here look at this 382 pullback on btc and what did stacks give us a 382 pullback uh on this eight hour chart so okay that's a good start for stacks support for me for stacks that you are watching uh 1.83 and uh, just a little bit lower down 1.76 so these are my two hot zones for stacks and you can see we do have this rising trend in place so bullish on stacks until we start losing this trend and closing below this trend uh, no reason for Stax to stop going, and uh, as long as BTC is playing ball here, Stax is going to follow. And uh, you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of smart guys out there saying uh, Stax is actually the preferential trade over BTC uh, if you want uh, some bigger gains. So guys, that uh, is Stax looking good to me. Uh, then Audis, we looked at Audis yesterday. And uh, it was on a nice little level. It gave us a nice little move. So those of you that got it, let me know. Uh, we had a little 13% move there on Audi. So let me know in the chats who grabbed Audis. In fact, let me know who grabbed th these, these setups that we gave yesterday. I mean, there were tons. It was Neutron, uh, uh, I think Celestia we did. We did Rune. We did Bonk. We did tons of these guys. So let me know. Um, so Audis was on a nice level. Got it. Gave us about a 13% move there uh, yesterday. And uh, again, if you are still sitting uh, in this Audis trade, no reason to exit yet until we start losing this major horizontal area so for me uh audis i'm watching 67 same as yesterday 67 down to about 66 uh is a hot zone for me so
So any dips, any pullbacks into there, I am still interested uh, in all the longs. And uh, again, we're just looking for this range high as the first play. Once we start breaking out of that, then uh, we can always add to these positions and, uh, you know, and do things a little bit differently. But right now, we're just looking for this range move uh, on Audis and uh, anything down 66, 65, that sort of region looks like a potential good zone. And uh, again, the downside is very clear. So if we do get some kind of market dump, uh, the first area you're going to be looking uh, is 30% down. That's around about 46. So again, these are clearly defined areas for you. So if uh, the ETF news does turn a little bit bearish and we do get some kind of wick down, this is one of the first areas you're going to look, 46. Okay, Rocking Badger is calling the fibs pure science. Guys, it's pure science. It's all pure science. Uh, let's see what uh, Marcus says. He got uh, Celestia yesterday. Okay, that's a nice one. osama has got Render. Um, yeah, guys, I see there was good news on Render yesterday. It was more than that NVIDIA play. And I've actually got a tweet for you. Uh, and I'm talking about Render today. So we are going to cover you on that one. Zuelet, who says, holding on to Bonk for dear life. Well, hopefully you got a good entry there. Uh, we're going to go through this Bonk trade now. I'm going to show you what uh, my current position looks like uh, as well. Um, right, let's see, guys. Next. Ethereum. This is critical stuff. You guys need to know this. This is the ETH BTC chart and uh, on the weekly. And, uh, you know, guys have been, uh, ETH has been slow. BTC has been strong. We know this. And uh, a couple of days ago, I spoke to you about a possible rotation into ETH at some point and uh, ETH and friends. And, uh, you know, ETH BTC is telling me right now that it potentially wants to push a bit lower. But what we can see from this chart here, so this is the weekly chart ETH BTC, is that a reversal for me is imminent uh, on ETH BTC. And I think it's going to be a big move. Uh, we've got another few percent to go. We've got 10% more to go on this ETH BTC chart. And then I'm looking at a mega rotation here from BTC into ETH. I want to see a big ETH move. And uh, we're going to have a lot of fun here. There's about an 80% play that I'm looking at here from an ETH move uh, once we move out of this BTC. So I'm looking at about an 85% move here on the ETH BTC chart. And uh, to help myself here, I've started building an ETH position. And I'm going to take you through this right now. Again, we don't know. Are they going to send us down first? Are they going to send us up? We don't actually know. But right now, for me, I don't want to not be in an ETH position. So I'm using these levels here uh, on this ETH three-day chart. I'm playing it pretty easy. And uh, it's low leverage stuff. And uh, I've got orders sitting at key areas. So right now, I have opened a $5,000 ETH position here on the 50-day MA. Then, in case they want to flush us out, I've added orders here, 382, and I've added a much bigger order here at the 618 level. So if we do get some kind of very quick flush here on ETH, we're going to send this thing down. I'm looking for a big bounce here, 200-day MA, 200-week MA, if they do get that flush. And remember, that could potentially tie in to some kind of market meltdown uh, if we do get uh, some uh, some ETF news here and they want to send things lower. And uh, I think ETH is going to bounce here at the 0044 level uh, on the ETH BTC chart. And I want to try and start building this ETH position. So I have a starter position here. We're going to add for me 2,100 I'm adding and then uh, call it 1880 uh, is the next big zone here uh, for ETH. So we're going to start building a nice size. And then if we do get that rotation, then we're really going to start uh, we're going to start moving on that ETH play. Right. What's next? Here's a nice little tweet. Uh, this guy's talking about uh, token narratives that he's watching right now. And uh, he's, he's number two here is important to me. So he's saying beta plays to ETH anticipating a spot ETF. Lido SSV RSTK. So what I've done for you and you guys know, I've spoken about this Lido before and uh, it actually has hit our first area. And uh, if ETH is doing well, you want to be in things like Lido. And uh, here we, we, you got our first entry here. This was last week. I gave you this guy at around 2.9. This was a hot zone for us, uh, for ETH that we were looking at and uh, we have pinged that area once the next hot zone for Lido if we do get some kind of move or some kind of flush out 2.6 big area for me uh, that we are watching so keep your eyes on this we do have the 50 day MA coming in hot here so if I were you I'd have some kind of limit order uh, set and ready and waiting you never know if they come and wick you down in the dead of the night here uh, or one of these stories 2.6 is a hot zone for me and you can see it's very clear here on the daily Big support, big resistance zone, 50 day MA. Uh, we've got FIB support as well. So Lido, 2.6 and uh, 2.9. These are my two hot zones uh, that I would keep an eye on.
then SSV. I've never spoken about this SSV, but uh, also very topical. If we're going to get that move, you kind of want to just identify some decent areas here uh, for this SSV. And uh, to me, uh, we are in a rising trend currently uh, on the daily, and I've identified two areas or two hot zones that could be of interest to us. So the first one is the 618 region, and uh, this is at 27.9. And then I've got the 786 FIB tied in with a 50-day MA and some horizontals and this trend at around about 25.6 so another good area here and this is just a rising daily trend on ssv so yeah could be could easily get something along these lines and then we'll get our move so that is a that is a play i'm looking at right now uh, on this ssv so first area is a hot zone 28 and uh, this uh, lower region 25.6 Okay, Terry likes the tunes. Terry likes the tunes. She's given us a thumbs up here. Tim says good morning. So Tim must be in the US. Uh, Patham wants to know anything on Arweave. Guys, we haven't looked at Arweave in a while. Uh, definitely need to take a look at that guy. Uh, Arweave Filecoin, remember, these are storage narratives. They run together. Um, Ian asking about Filecoin on the 50 day MA. Yes, Filecoin hit a hot zone yesterday. And uh, if we bullish on these altcoins, if we said yesterday was our, re our reversal here, and now we're just retesting today. So where file is right now, that is a probably a bullish zone here uh, to look at Filecoin. So we did uh, deal with it. And I did drop a, a Filecoin chart in the Sniper Club, guys. Okay, let's see who else is here. Pabalo wants to know what about Rune? Yeah, I've got an update for you on Rune. Uh, let's go to our next one from yesterday, Solana. But guys, who got the Sol one? Uh, when we were talking on the show, we had a lot of trend pressure there uh, on Solana. It was looking super bullish. We had the indicators telling us we were going to get some kind of move. And uh, eventually, they did give us. It popped so nicely. And uh, look, it did dance around a little bit. So the areas I highlighted uh, today here, the 382 FIB, this was our first pullback zone. And uh, this is your first support area. So Sol, if you are looking for support on Sol, it's anything from 98 down to 96. This is your current support area for Seoul. So that is what you are looking for right now. You can see they did send us down earlier when BTC uh, tested that 382. We had a 382 retest on Seoul and uh, perfect bounce, perfect connection here uh, on this 382. So right now, if you are trading Seoul, hot zone for you. Anything from 98 to 96 is a support area to watch. And then we do have the backup plan. If things really start dipping and BTC wants to test uh, test these lows one more time for the day, um, then we are looking at the 618 tied in with horizontal. And you can see it's quite a nice little juicy zone. Look at these little candles here. Uh, four hour support, 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 618 as well. Um, so I'd like to uh, get a buy-in down here at 92.5. Uh, if they do give us that opportunity, we should get some kind of bounce there. Okay, let's see. Michelle got sold. Nice one, Michelle. Okay, good one. So now you've got your support areas and Sol's looking good. It's looking strong, guys. It's It's got this horizontal uh, at uh, this 98 to 96. Looks like a good bounce here. And uh, let's see how we go. So again, targets. Uh, we did look at them briefly. I think we pulled out some Lux Algo order blocks yesterday. Let's just confirm where these order blocks are. And uh, you can see first hot zone here, 106. Next hot zone, 115. So quite easy to, to navigate your way through this trade if it starts going higher. Okay, next one, Injective. This was an update from yesterday as well. And again, absolute perfection. Look at this 382. Perfectly. BTC pings down. What does it do? 382 bounce. What does Injective give you? 382 horizontal uh, and a trend retest. So here we are. Look at this horizontal. Resistance, resistance, resistance. What do they do? Support by 382 trend. Balance of probabilities. That's telling us we're going to get some kind of bounce. So what am I looking for now? Uh, on injective so i was saying earlier in sniper club i'm looking for some kind of consolidation here some kind of flag uh, to get it moving and uh, they have come down for our first touch so our 40 call it 40.6 down to 40 is my major support area now uh, for injective it's bullish support that is what we're looking at and uh, again if we lose that trend we are looking lower at the 618 region at 37.6 but uh, for me to remain bullish here i don't want to lose I don't want to lose this 40 region. So let's see how Injective plays out right now. But uh, right now, in the middle of this flag, big support, 40 uh, to about 40.6. I'm loving this area right now. And uh, remember, all-time highs. We smashed all-time highs today. A uh, new all-time high for Injective and uh, might be a good sign for us. So let's see how this uh, plays out. And remember, then, again, price discovery. And, uh, you know, anything can happen there. 
Okay, let's see what else we got. We've got lots of render questions. We've got Miro questions um, as well. So that is another Solana meme. Okay, we can we can we can maybe do we can maybe do some of that uh, some of that Miro. Okay, let's see the results of this poll here. Uh, we've got six hundred votes. Sixty four percent are calling a pump tomorrow. Oof. I don't know, Bruce. 64. Who knows? Uh, my crystal ball's broken. I just trade what's in well, front of mine's me. Mine's broken. Well, mine's definitely broken. <laughs> 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 well, look, we've got our areas. We've got our levels. Yep. Um, let's see how we go. Um, I've got a couple more. Uh, I've got a couple more of these tokens. And uh, I don't know. Do you have a little bit of a setup here for us today? Yeah, I've got a couple of interesting ones. Um, actually, you called a couple of them already. But, um, yeah, I'm... Yeah, when are we ready? Okay. We'll go so I'm going to go through some of mine, guys. You can see Bruce has just woken up. He's just fired up the coffee. <laughs> you know, Bruce is in LA. It's like, it's early there. What's the time, Bruce? <laughs> uh, it is, uh, oh, it's it's late now. It's 7.40. It's late. Know. Okay. So imagine waking up and just jumping into a trading chair, firing up the charts and then jumping on a live show. Isn't it great? <laughs> it's invigorating. It's like taking a cold, jumping into the cold so ocean. Good. It's so good. I love it. Okay, let's go on to uh, let's go on to the next one here. What have I got? Neutron. Okay, so again, bullish news on Neutron, guys. You know these narratives, they move, they jump token to token. We've had Celestia. What did we have? We had Say. We've had Sui. We've had <laughs> you know what these guys do. Okay, so now it's all about Neutron. And uh, I believe Bruce gave a nice trade on Neutron yesterday yep. as well uh, in the yep. Sniper Club. Yep. But, uh, we, we spoke about it on the show here yesterday as well. Uh, you weren't here yesterday. <laughs> But uh, you know what's funny to me? I've got Neutron and Celestia looking identical. They're basically the same token. And I'm going to show you this right now. Um, it's quite interesting. So yesterday we had Neutron, which is now the flavor of the month, guys. Okay, yesterday we had Neutron sitting on a 382. Our next backup zone we had was this 0.5. And what have they done? They pumped it straight up. Okay, so the first thing you want to do now uh, is try and identify a couple of things. Uh, potential pullback areas, number one. Um, and number two, where's this thing going to go? Because it's, uh, it's already at all-time highs. So how do we play that? So I've prepped this little chart for you. Um, so what I'm looking for in the short term here, uh, this is a four hour any any kind of consolidation any kind of flag uh that sort of moves down into any of these fib regions for me is still a bullish play uh on neutron so what i'm looking at here 382 support this is my first area so my first support neutron 1.54 that is a hot zone you can see i've got some horizontals here on the four hour so 1.54 for me is a hot zone next area for me neutron 1.44 Okay, so 1.54, mm -hmm. 1.44. If we get anything like that, it's looking bullish to me. It's flaggy. And then we're going to send this thing. We know it's the flavor of the month. Okay, mm -hmm. so I'm currently trying to get a get an entry in this thing. And uh, we're going to see how it's, uh, it's going to play out. Otherwise, I might have to go full on DGen mode here and start buying this thing at resistance uh, in anticipation for potential targets. I pulled the 1618. I pulled the 2618. And uh, potential targets in the short term here, if this thing stays bullish, 1.88, 2.25. So these are hot TP zones. If you're sitting in this neutron, TP zones, 1.88, 2.25 are hot zones if you can snag an entry here. So right now we're looking for consolidation, looking at this flag, and uh, hopefully uh, it's going to give us some kind of entry. But to me right now, it's still looking relatively bullish. Uh, if you traded it lower down, obviously de-risk a little bit. Um, if you're looking for an entry now, well, now we got to be uh, we got to be sculptors here. We got to be uh, we got to be a little bit DJ and uh, wait for this flag. Take a little bit more risk uh, than normal, um, but uh, could play out. Now look at this. I mean, these charts are twins. Yep, yep, they really are. Celestia, Neutron. Okay, yep. looks the same to me. They they're playing the same game. They're both chasing mm -hmm. all-time highs. And uh, I've done the same thing here for uh, Celestia for you guys as well. So key support that I'm watching right now for Celestia, 15. Okay, this is a big support zone. And again, we had this guy yesterday. We had Celestia yesterday, 618 bounce. We had this little trend break. Now we've broken trend. Okay, so we know the first move is always the best move. The lower down when we're feeling bearish, that's our best move. We had the break. Now we've broken this trend. Now what do we do? We're looking to buy retest. If we are still bullish, we're looking for retest. We're looking uh, for support buys. And the first mm -hmm. hot zone, Celestia, is just above 15. So if we do 
get some kind of move your support area is 15 and that is a nice little support buy from celestia your next hot zone 14 okay these are two very nice looking uh bullish areas for me on celestia mm -hmm. so just above 15 and uh, just above 14 they are equally hot zones yeah um so here are decent trades for me coming up and targets if things are going to stay like this 35 percent to the 1618 and uh, 70 percent to the 2618 so potential targets here 20 25 and uh, i mean it's it's hilarious these two look exactly the same um it's quite incredible actually <laughs> right let's go render so for those of you in the chats asking about mm -hmm. render we touched on it yesterday and those of you would have noticed render had a mega pump yesterday um it seemed to pump a little bit harder than some of these other tokens and there's a lot of news uh, on render if you're looking on twitter you can look at this guy Al crypto talk and uh, they're talking all the positive news here on render saying this is how render is going to get affected etc etc but uh, it would have pumped on this type of news uh, that we saw yesterday and then probably needed a little bit of consolidation so what i want to do is i want to show you two things i want to show you obviously where we are now in the short term and then i just want to give you bigger picture render uh for those of you that uh, are render investors looking for bigger moves and things like that uh so short term this is the four hour on render so what you can do if you are looking for a trade you're looking for a position uh what you can do here is you can bang out a little trend okay you're looking for something along those lines and uh, then you're gonna pull your fibs from the low to the high. And you're gonna try identify hot zones uh, for any retests and things like that. And uh, the way it works, you know, if we get this trend break, if this token is still bullish, it's going to react at one of these areas and gonna carry on. And uh, if it's no longer bullish, well, then you're gonna get stopped out. It's as simple as that. So if you're playing the, the trend break uh, and retest game, you need to look for hot areas where you could potentially get your bounce uh, on the retest if you weren't uh, if you weren't buying the original move from the low and you can see what we've got here if I highlight this area you can see we we pinged a fib almost perfectly uh, at the 3.38 area so if you weren't buying in that area your next one is to buy any retests or any pullbacks after you start breaking trends or you start breaking horizontals you look for these hot areas so what I can say if you are bullish on render in the short term this is four hour um, areas you want to look at Especially now, this is for the leverage traders, right? Uh, we're looking at hot zones. So your first area, reclaim this 382 at 3.8, okay? And uh, your next one, 618, horizontal, looking for a bounce at 3.7. So if it's bullish, this is what we expect to happen. Little retest, and then it goes, creates a new high, and then this process continues until the trend changes again. So, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna see something along these lines again and uh, eventually it loses the trend and then you see something like that and then it starts coming down so that's the game we're playing and uh, yeah so if you like render your hot zone is coming in now uh, lower it up 3.7 that is coming in hot here uh, and then we're going to zoom out so render investors or render spot buyers you're looking uh, you know you're not so phased about losing a couple of cents here or there uh, on certain levels you're more interested in bigger levels and uh, what I've got for you here, a render, is the weekly. And uh, you can see what we've done here. I mean, render at its peak, it was hitting uh, $8, something around those lines. When was this? In 2021, November 21, when render was really blowing up. I actually remember it was around about that Solana conference uh, as well. It was really just absolutely ripping. And uh, you can zoom out on the weekly and you can identify your hot zones. These are for the spot buyers and things like that who want to get bags of render and uh, hot zones for you right now. 3.4 okay you can see there's a mega 382 here this is a 382 pool from the absolute lows uh november 22 uh to the highs that we had uh when was this in uh, december so this is uh this is the play 3.4 and uh your next hot zone horizontals there's a 0.5 i mean jackie's gonna love that i use this 0.5 mm -hmm. uh, one of the traders we used to trade with jackie used to love this 0.5 and used to always pull it out and uh, i never used to use it enough but here it is here's a 0.5 tying in 2.8 okay you're looking at 2.8 as a next buy area uh, for render and you can see it ties in so nicely with this massive weekly area this weekly one two three four five weekly candles here so quite a hot zone so render render players 3.4 2.8 and never say never if we do get a flush this is where you want your buy orders waiting uh, if we do get some kind of short-term flush out on these altcoins these are hot zones and uh, never say never guys 
Never say never. Um, let's see. Who, I see Luba's here. Luba? Stephanie? Are you shorting? Mm. You're longing? I know Luba loves a short. Um, I think we, we've definitely been leaning into longs over the last couple of weeks. So uh, I know she loves a she loves a short. Luba, let, uh, let us know what you're trading here. Um, let's see what else we got. Uh, let's see. Let's go. Let's update this bonk. Okay. Uh, so bonk yesterday. Let's see how we are now. Okay, so Bonk's looking good. So yesterday, Bonk traders out there, the, the signs were there. Okay, It was all there. We, we had indicators telling us it was moving into a good area. We had the fact that we had good levels telling us that it was moving into a good area. You could see we were drifting down, but we were slowly leaning against potentially changing this trend here. And uh, things were just lining up uh, for a Bonk move. And, uh, you know, it just made absolute sense. So here we are with Bonk right now. So if you uh, here's my current position. Uh, here it is. So Bonk, I opened a 10x long. My position size is currently uh, 9794 and I'm $2,000 up uh, at the moment on this Bonk trade. And, you know, my original target was 0 0.00014. This is the original area I was looking at here. And uh, you can see why this area makes sense to me. Uh, we had a few horizontals and things like that uh, so it made sense as a potential zone so right now uh, if you are trading bonk you are look you, you missed the big move the big move was yesterday but next option now we are looking for some kind of support here some kind of flag in this area and we want to see the support areas hold so your first line of support right now for bonk if you are trading it or you're looking for a position is this 50 day ma and horizontal Let's just get, uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, so I want to see horizontals and 50 day MA. So that is what I want to highlight for you guys now. So bonk traders, current support, 000122. This is your first hot zone. It's the 50 day MA and uh, it's horizontal tied in here. And then your upside target for me, it's still uh, this level up here at uh, 14, call it 144. Uh, anywhere in that area is a potential TP zone for bonk. Let's see what type of FIB tie in we have here. I mean, look at this. Unreal. Actually, unreal. 382, 50 day MA, horizontal on the four hour. And uh, again, just moved back nicely with BTC there and did stay a little bit bullish. So for me, if we start losing this 382, I'm probably going to start trimming a little bit uh, of that position. But again, our major supports for Bonk uh, 012. Next one, we've got the 618 and horizontal at uh, 112. And then we've got our lows again. Uh, which is most likely a potential buy area once again if it does come down there i would expect some kind of bounce uh, in that area okay venom says theta at a 618 i had somebody in sniper club today ask me to take a look at uh, this theta token so i think uh, i think we're going to pull this one out as soon as i'm done here um, and then obviously we're going to get bruce give us something and the head of likes is here in the back as well yep. here he is you see there's a love sign above your love head there. Ray. what's going on here Ray? are you in a coffee shop where are you what's happening here i'm just at home how bro. deep is your love Ray? <laughs> <laughs> it's, not, it's not as deep as these likes it's nice to like guys Let's guys go. listen to uncle ray okay we need these likes and then the legend gives you a setup it's a simple formula it really yeah, is man. um I mean, the man's just woken up. He's in LA, he's woken up. He's here to give you guys a trade. You need to like it. You need to like it. Okay. Ray, keep us posted. Okay. Um, okay, let's go. Let's go Rune update. Okay, so this uh, this is how we played Rune yesterday. We had a little trend break. It was a trade for me. Um, I took that one on BitGet. And uh, we, hit our, we hit our targets. Okay, And uh, it didn't break higher. So it started drifting lower. And I ended up closing it around about this region over here so i didn't get my max my max move on uh, rune unfortunately it started dipping down and i wanted to de-risk a little bit uh, so i did close it here at resistance this five level um that was an area that uh, we were targeting so right now on rune how do we play the next move well let's take a look let's uh, let's see where we could get some kind of pullback here okay so we're just going to take a fib from the low to the high And uh, here we go. Okay, so we had our little 382 test. Okay, so we know Rune hot zone 4.75. And uh, next hot zone for Rune 
It actually ties in beautifully. Look at this. Uh, 4.57. Okay, 4.57, 4.75. These are your rune hot zones. And again, clear resistance in the way here uh, at 5. Clearly a uh, resistance zone. So just remember when you get up to that area, expect some kind of fight. Okay, then we're going to go. Jeez, I've got, so many, I've got so many coins for you guys. Okay, <laughs> Cast. Okay, here we go. Simon's going to wake up here in the chats, I bet you. We're going to get some exclamations and things from him here. Um, but yeah. Cass, again, it's playing, it's a playing a trend break game. So if you are bullish on Cass and you didn't get the move off the horizontals, okay, remember, this chart is in Sniper Club. I update this Cass chart fairly regularly. Um, 0 0.1 was our horizontal support. Okay, that's what we needed. And uh, now we've pushed up, we've broken trend. And uh, the most bullish scenario I can give you for Cass is a little pullback onto trend in 382. So if we do get some kind of pullback here, 0 0.11, that is a hot zone for Cass. And upside, what are we looking at? Well, we want to crack the 50-day MA. That's 0 0.12. So this is our first sort of area of interest. But I think the move for the move for Cass is actually going to be uh, to that range high. I think if we're going to turn bullish. So what you want to do, just identify some horizontals. Okay, so there's your first area, 0 0.13, and then your next area that you're looking at, 0 0.14. Okay, so no changes there right now. We're playing the trend break game. We've broken trend. Let's see what type of retest we get. And uh, most bullish areas for a retest, 382. Next bullish, 618. And uh, let's see how that goes. So cast fans, there you are. You finally got your trend break. Uh, you see, here's Simon with his exclamations. I knew it. Knew it. Um, it just means his bags are getting full here. Um, he says, get your cash buys in now before it noons. <laughs> 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 okay, guys, let's go. Payback. Again. Okay. We had so many of these altcoins yesterday giving us the same look. Okay. So we knew we were going to get a pump. We knew we were going to get something. And uh, after you get a pump, you always look for a retest into a hot support <coughs> zone. If it holds that support zone, we know the trade is on. Okay, so right now we've got AVAX on the four hour. It's broken. A nice little horizontal after that move yesterday. So that was, I mean, that was really good stuff. Look at this horizontal, blew, blew through the horizontal. It came back, tested the 382 with BTC. Okay, the BTC dumped onto a 382. AVAX came back onto a 382. So what I want to give you here. There is a potential move right now uh, on AVAX. You're looking at support 35 and you're looking at 33.7. These are still your hot support zones. If you're looking for a long on AVAX, these are your buy areas. Those are These are your zones. 35.4 35 to 30, 35. And then 33.9, anything down to about 33.5. These are your hot zones right now. And ideally, we're just looking for something like this, a little push higher. You want to break this trend nicely, but you want to reject at a nice horizontal. And then you are looking for something along these lines. So this is the bull case uh, for AVAX. Now, remember, this, uh, things need to turn bullish here uh, for this to want to play out. And uh, right now, the signs are there. Um, the things are looking okay. So right now, if we get this move, this is kind of what we're looking at. This is the type of setup we were looking at yesterday uh, on Solana. It was a little bit ahead on a slightly different trend, obviously. But uh, this is the type of play we're looking at. So supports uh, for AVAX, you've got them here on the 382. And then you've got your 50-day MA tied in with a 618. And then again, bigger picture players. Guys running bigger picture stuff. You can zoom out. Okay. Different game for you, obviously. And uh, you can see what we've got here. We've got a little 618 pool and horizontal round about 30. So that is a nice little uh, safety net down there at around about 30. And then it's quite a long way down, I'm afraid. So if we lose that, uh, you're potentially talking 20 to 22 uh, as your next AVAX hot zone. So right now, bigger players, daily levels, these type of things, 30 and uh, 20 to 22 uh, is your daily area that you're going to be watching, especially if they come for us. If they come for us and they come for these altcoins and they want to flush, um, you need to be identifying these areas uh, lower down. Okay, I see Yonko's back. I mean, Yonko was telling us yesterday, it's all good to long. And you know what? You were absolutely right. And uh, we longed the shit out of these things. And it went well. It was a good day. Um, oh, no. Luba is shorting AVAX. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I knew she'd Sorry. be shorting something. I knew it. Uh, yeah. Okay. So... <laughs> 
<laughs> Lubus proper beer. Okay, let's see. Uh, Progressive Martian. Is it me or, or is every trade we are waiting on? Anything we can get into now? Progressive Martian. Uh, you can jump into AVAX. Uh, it's on a level. Uh, remember, mm -hmm. guys, you need to watch the shows. When the market dumps, that's the show you need to be jumping in to watch me. Less of you turned up yesterday and the market bled out. The market dumped. Those were our entries yesterday. If you're looking for entries after a pump, we are now looking at secondary entries. We're looking at these retests now. Um, the best entries, again, guys, are always the ones after a red day, the market's red, you've woken up, you've been rinsed out, you're hating crypto. That's yeah. when you need to watch my show, okay? That's when you come for me because that's where we're going to give you your best entries. Now we're giving you your second best entries, okay? If we get this move, for example, on AVAX, okay, what we can, what can we expect out of AVAX? We're expecting a break of trend and tomorrow we're going to be talking about a potential retest of horizontal supports again. So that's going to be the third potential entry if it works, okay? And uh, remember last, it was last year, we, we had three in a row, okay? And then they came for us. Then they absolutely melted us down. So again, mm. we've had our first one now. We've nailed our first one. This is now your retest play. Potentially, yes, these are your retest buyers. So you can jump into AVAX uh, in these areas, anywhere in these areas. Uh, you can jump into it. But guys, remember, when the market bleeds, come and watch me. Okay, also, yeah. Come and watch me when it's pumping, obviously, because I'm a degen at heart. We can sculpt these 15 minute candles. We, we can play these flag breaks. But when the market's dumping, guys, turn it on. Come and talk to me. Yep. Um, I'm going to show you what I want. <laughs> <laughs> they must listen, Bruce. <laughs> okay. Yep. And here's Link. Uh, another uh, sure, another move. Link, uh, we did get this trade earlier uh, on Sniper Club. So my strategy for this Link uh, this link trade at the time, we obviously don't know where they're going to stop on a on a pullback. So mm -hmm. I could see yesterday, I could see today they were pulling back. And again, I just I play the same game every time. It, it doesn't matter the altcoin. It's the same game. You're looking at horizontal. You're looking at 3A2. So what I did here for Link, I bought a, a part of my position on the 3A2 and I had a limit order sitting at 13.3. It was above the 618 and horizontal. And uh, they came down. They, they dropped the 3A2. And what did they do? They came down and they pinged. The 618 almost i mean uh, yeah it's perfection the mm -hmm. 618 is perfection and uh, it pinged there beautifully and now i'm in my full link position and uh, this is what uh, this is how i'm viewing it at the moment my exit for me uh, as a leverage trader now on link i'm looking at a close of candle below the 618 okay so if we lose that 618 um again and this is uh, if you're trading spot or you're trading a 2x 3x type of account you're looking at stops you can you can look at stops much lower down again yeah. this depends on your leverage or how aggressive you are and how you're playing the game okay so my game is for me bullish 382618 i'm looking for bounces there if i get a candle close under these areas i jump i'm out of this position um but right now what i can give you is support areas for link so under the 618 okay so 13.2 that is an area if we lose that 13.2 then we know potentially Okay, we are then looking at 12.8. Okay, so for me, that tells me we got another uh, another 40 cent move uh, on link if we lose that 618. So do I maybe want to be around to sweat out another 40 percent move mm -hmm. on leverage? And yeah. then let's say the market starts really dumping and then really get caned. Um, you know, so that's uh, my strategy here is buy on the 382, buy on the 618. If we don't get the bounce, I take my mets and I jump out. But uh, right now you can see good 618 reaction. And uh, my reasoning behind that, again, horizontals, uh, horizontals in play and a 618 pool made sense uh, on BTC. So yeah, that's uh, that's my current link situation. Mm -hmm. And uh, we do have the 100 day MA. Look at this guy. We're pushing up here a little bit here. So that might give you something, 12.8. Um, and then we do have this horizontal as well. So round about 12.8 is your next, uh, your next area there. And uh, again, another lesson, one more time. Best entries are when you're hating crypto. <laughs> that is when you're not watching. It was yesterday. Yep. Okay. We got our moves yesterday. Okay. Let's go. Flo says, what time is ETF announcement? I actually don't know. I think they're going to just come and surprise us. I'd, I'd probably mm -hmm. say, what do you think, Bruce? Late. Like late. Last minute. Yep. <laughs> I mean, guys, we, we literally don't know what's going to happen. Maybe up, maybe down. Just know your areas. It may uh, not happen. They may delay it. Who knows? Yeah. Don't get freaked out about it. Okay, head of likes. Mr. What's going on here, Ray? 
What's our lockage? Hold on. What's going on with the legs? I think we've gotten up to 500. One sec. Hold on. I'm ready to. I'm ready to hand over Bruce. I think we've gotten up to 500. One sec. 440. Okay, guys. 60 more likes. I'm handing over Bruce. Yeah. Come so on. while we're waiting, Dylan, I got a question for you. Yeah. Right. Are you you, you are you a fisherman? Do you fish? I don't. I fish very badly. You fish very. Badly. Have you ever been fishing? Yes, of course. So the idea with your fishing is you put your worm on the your bait on the hook, and then you dive in the water and you go chasing after the fish, going here, fishy, fishy. Right? Is that the way you do it? <laughs> well, I kind of let them come to my rod. Oh, really? I so go you're fishing in a rock pool. With you my put kids. it in the water and then you wait. And I hang it there. And I let ah, them come to me. I don't go around chasing them. And you, you drink a beer. See, so I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm sending some love to Progressive Martian, uh, who said, you know, what's the trade we can take right now? Um, I'm doing a session in Sniper Club in a couple hours on trading psychology. Because trade, you know, we, we do the setups here. But the hardest part of this whole thing is what goes on in your head. So be careful of the urgency to want to take a trade right now. You got it. You do your setup. Dylan shows you exactly hashtag science, where the levels are, what to wait for. But then you got to do this really tough thing, which you got to wait, wait for the trade to come to you. And then when it's in your zone and it's just right, the fish will bite. It's in your zone and it ticks your boxes, mm -hmm. then you go. For it. yep. If it's not in part of your, your trading strategy and you're jumping into early, you know, yep. you know yourself if you're being guilty, if you're yep. guilty of these moves yep. and uh, you, you're going to end up cursing yourself afterwards. Exactly. Um, Exactly. <laughs> Yonko, this is good advice from Yonko. He says, not smashing the like is like a black cat crossing your Ooh, way. <laughs> oh, 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 Yonko. Okay, guys, Ooh. quick update uh, on Nakamoto. We looked at this one yesterday. And uh, <laughs> again, this was a, there was some bullish news on Nakamoto games. And look at, the, look at this move. They gave us 20% yesterday. Okay, mm -hmm. just literally buying Nakamoto of strong weekly support and 3A2 mm -hmm. support. It just makes sense when you drop into that area. Again, we never know how high we're going to get these bounces, but we know if we drop into a big reaction uh, <coughs> balance of probabilities, we get some kind of move out of it. And the timing is impeccable. They released bullish news as it hits that area. I mean, yep. you really can't make this stuff up. Yep. And uh, yeah, 20% little bounce there for Nakamoto. I'm, I mean, I'm yeah. not a cup and handle kind of guy, but good grief, Charlie Brown. Yeah, I mean, you can, <laughs> you, you could you run any better. Idea. <laughs> I mean, you can see, guys. Okay, so this is the weekly chart, Nakamoto. Again, watch your support. 1.34. This is your support zone. Watch that. Uh, we lose that, then maybe we're looking at the 200-day MA uh, lower down. But uh, right now, we've got a massive 3A2 pool here and uh, some weekly support. So dig that area. Okay. Likeage, Ray. Oh, because they... What are you watching? Well, you're watching TV, uh, bro. You, you're supposed to watch. You're supposed to watch us. What's going on? I am watching. Hold <laughs> on. Are you on a call there, Raymond? Uh, TV, bro. You, we're five fifteen. Okay, let's go. Um, okay, Bruce. <laughs> All right. So you, you. It was so funny. You said, uh, "Okay, show a couple of charts." So I picked them, and then you went through them. So I had to go find <laughs> others. And the good news is, there's plenty. Um, okay. So I'm going to pick a couple more obscure ones. Okay, give so us two of your absolute best bangers, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, putting, your, putting your screen up here. They're interesting. So, Ordi is another one. Um, again, you're going to see all these setups look almost the same, right? We had a bump, coming back and retesting that solid support area. Drew a fib from the bottom to the top right there. A trend line coming up. And sure enough, right now, it's at the 382. It's like exactly at the 382. Uh so you could either take a test little entrance in this area. Matter of fact, you're pinged right on that trend line. It's hard to see the ping right over there, but uh, you can start building a position and then build it all the way down to the 618, which is exactly its support right there. So anywhere in this range, it would be, I think, a wonderful place to get into already. Uh, and you're looking for just up to um, its recent high. You're looking for a 31% pump to the recent high. So that's a pretty decent yeah. risk reward. Uh, the next one I'm looking at is YGG. Uh, again, uh, very similar. It broke this, um, what was resistance, and it's pinged it a couple times, and it's it's pushing on support. But these spikes, every time it pushes off the ear, are pretty darn big. They're, those alone are 35 36%. So even just a ranging play 
from down in this area uh, up to the top would be would be a really cool trade. So, so uh, why was a was a trade yesterday? They gave yeah, uh, yeah. the Elgo it right broke there. daily pivot, right and yep. uh, I took that trade yesterday. Yep. Um, and uh, it started just leading out, so I started just trimming it all the way yep. down and yep. eventually closed it at my entry. So, yeah, it looks like another opportunity here. Uh, keep an eye on the fact that your 50 day moving average is right there. And I really, what struck out to me, struck me was the fact that it really likes bouncing off that 50 day moving average, right? Over and over again, yep. Love that. right? So, keep an eye on that. Uh, YG is another one, and the other one that is, is interesting is SEI. Um, we've been watching that off and on for a while, but SEI again did a SR flip, broke to what was resistance. <laughs> Look at this comment. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Look at this comment. <laughs> I bruise easily. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good grief. Oh, good grief. Um, Sorry, carry on, yeah, carry on. That's all right. It's cool. Um, so I know I'm making funny marks in my chart now. Um, but again, uh, pump from the bottom to the top, coming back, we're coming to test the 382. That to me looks just juicy, right? Break retest, horizontal level, 382. Um, if you lose it, you'll probably come down to the 786 support, which is that area. But right at the moment, this looks pretty darn strong to me. Pick it up somewhere in the 695 area, 6953 area. Looks, uh, looks pretty juicy. Good stuff. Um, Angela T lady, she says, why am I the only stumbling on this best altcoin show? Love it. Angela T lady, welcome to the <laughs> science ball. I mean, this is, this is where it all goes down. Um, this is the house of science here. And uh, yeah, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, and the answer to the quick question, it's the 50 day simple moving average. I have simple moving averages on high time frames. Okay, Bruce, that looks good. Um, and then I've got uh, I've got tons of requests for super, and uh, super's bleeding out. And again, we might get a nice yeah. opportunity. Uh, let me just uh, let me just grab get my chart up here for you guys quickly. Um, okay, so we looked at super briefly. Uh, when was this? A couple of days yeah. ago. Yeah. Uh, we we did tackle this, I think. And uh, let's uh, let's just rehash where we are. And we just want to watch key. We want to watch key levels, key supports. Which it's at right now. Yeah, it's it's lost the fifty day MA, so that's not yeah. the best look I've ever yeah. seen. Um, yeah. Remember, guys, if Super was a proper pump, like it was a ridiculous pump. Okay, um, there was some such bullish news here. The gaming narrative was at its absolute peak, um, and Super was just responding to that. Uh, okay, so what we're gonna do? We're just gonna bang out a trend. Yep. Okay, we're looking at that and then uh, we're looking at solid areas okay so right now it is actually losing the 50 day ma it's losing the 382 okay not the best look ever okay so for me mm -hmm. that's lost that mm -hmm. uh, lost support okay 0 0.51 it's now lost your next area you're looking for your next solid zone okay here's 50 uh i mean here's daily uh horizontals okay daily resistance support you can see what's going on here super four zero point four three. Okay, that is your next hot zone and then this is how you play the game okay so your trade options always okay you can always sit back and wait and you can wait for a trend break okay so you can you can play this game where you wait for the trend break and then you take your trade um other options you can nibble at these hot zones mm -hmm. okay <clears throat> and uh, for those of you on super low leverage or spot what you can do is you can nibble hot areas just look for solid key areas. If you are still bullish on something, for example, um, let's say the, the the market is teeing itself up for a nice bull run potentially. Okay, so what do you want to do? You want to say, okay, cool. Let's identify areas on a nice healthy pullback where we can get potential buys, and uh, we can start looking. And then once we break the trends of those areas, then we can always add as well. But uh, these are nibble zones. So uh, zero point four three. 0.34 these are nibble areas and then you can always uh once you break that trend you can do all these types of things you can always um you can always add i've got a theta emergency as well emergency? i was asked to do theta <laughs> on my show today and uh, i've been seeing in the chat the guys are asking for some theta so let's see where we are quickly on theta let's go daily And it's actually been a hell of a lot of chop, hasn't it? Yeah. Um, 
check that out in the four hour. You'll really see the chop. Yeah, we're going to take a look now. Okay, so losing trend. Okay, not a great look. Nope. Okay, so when we start losing these trends, we start looking a little bit more bearish on things, okay? So something like theta could be an indication that it wants to go a lot lower. And uh, when you start looking at scenarios like that, you're looking at your next big zones, okay? Here's a big zone, the 200 day. Here's another big zone, the 618. Okay, this is the daily chart. And then again, guys, for those of you, you can do this, bang. Okay, you can invert the chart. Um, and uh, it can give you a bit of a picture, you know? Here it could be. Some kind of head and shoulder situation developing here. Um, let's go back. Bang. Okay. So we could get something along these lines. So maybe we get some kind of pump. And what do they do? They give us the right shoulder retest. And then they send us down. Okay. So that is uh, something to maybe just uh, just have on your trading view. Just have these notes. Um, maybe look out for something like that. So if we do get a pump, we can't turn super bullish until we start cracking these big horizontal areas. We want to break that right shoulder. Okay, so we want to actually reclaim that area and then we get uh, turbo bullish again. So right now, any pumps to me on theta, I mean, it's still a big pump. We're talking 10 or 15% moves here, but potential sell off uh, after that. That's how it's playing out for me right now. Magnus, Magnus doesn't like the music. He says it's stressing. Magnus, it relaxes us. You must hear some of the other tracks we have. And I've also got various sounds, Magnus. Let's see if you can hear this. <laughs> That's a bull. Hopefully, we're going to be using this bull. And then I've also got a whip. <laughs> so, Magnus, you must come for the songs. You must come for the bull. And you must come for the whip. Yeah, it's good stuff. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's see what else we got. Oh, Grateful says, still waiting on all we Guys, guys, guys. There's, mm -hmm. there's so much. There's so much. Um, and then, Bruce, grab one more there out of the chats quickly. Okay. Uh, Dan, just see what, uh, what you can grab there for us. There's something out there. Okay, so all we Okay, interesting. So this is an old chart. Again, just another example, guys. These things pump, and then they sell off. But uh, you pump the hype. Remember that all the news around all we It was so bullish. We are like, this thing's going to the moon. And what do they do? It just send you back okay it's a typical altcoin play and uh, again this is an old chart and you can see these levels uh, they're trying to hold eight okay so eight is your first area uh, that you're going to be watching there so you can see why this is a big zone you'll see this is a weekly area as well these are weekly levels as well uh, so eight this is an area hot zone for me and uh, then your next guy seven so it's currently eight and it's seven this is bigger picture stuff obviously And uh, let's re-pull this FIB. This is an old FIB pool. I obviously pulled it. When was that? Uh, in November. Okay, so now we're looking at... <laughs> we're taking a FIB pool from the low of the move, the absolute low to the absolute high. This is high time frame stuff. So, I mean, we can we can pull out to the weekly. Okay, and then you get a nice little picture uh, as to what's going on. And uh, you can see, again, these areas on the weekly... And what we can do is we can even adjust this little box here now. Okay, so we can put this little box on the 618. Remember this one for next time. And you can see uh, how it's tying in. Okay, so we've got weeklies, weeklies, weeklies here. Um, mm -hmm. So for me, 618 and weekly, hot zone for our weave. So 6.7 and uh, 8, where it is right now. So watch those areas. That uh, Those are my zones for, for our weave. Hey, Bruce, uh, I'm going to add your screen here. Okay. Uh, I'll come back to Blue Zell, which was what uh, got the first one I saw. Blue Zell. And Kisho likes DYDX. Yeah, Oof. yeah, I was going to look at that. Just about to look at that next. Maybe but, um, how, how, do you how, do you, how do you like that chart? Talk about weird, Ooh. boring. <laughs> it's what growing grass. Is um, this Blue Zell? This is Blue Zell. I mean, what the? Wow. What is this? Well, there's a um, move coming. We, yeah. we don't know which way, but we can see there's a, there's a move it's coming. coming. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, this is this is like the the mother of all consolidation. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Um, no, there's something there's something coming here. We, uh, which way, guys? We don't know. Flip a coin. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a few wild guess. We get another one of these. 
but here's the thing. I mean, not, I mean, you have to preset everything up, right? Because that pump and that dump happen so fast because there's clearly, I mean, sitting right in this area are a gazillion shorts. You're just sitting there, right? So good luck with that one. Yeah. So look, guys, I mean, you can see what's going on here. There's a solid support zone. I would say whichever way they go, they're going the wrong way first. Okay? Right. Because right, I reckon right. there's a nice mix of longs and shorts, yeah? And that um, right over there. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I mean, look at it. It looks interesting, but I, I think th there'll be a vicious candle either way. Yeah, um, to me, to me, it's not worth risking. There's better stuff to play with right now. Yeah. Um, D Y D X. Uh, yeah, this D Y D X. That's sad. I sat in it for so long. Eh? Yeah, um, I know. We all we all so. I mean, they were my old TP zones, right? <laughs> from from thinking it was going to go up. Oh, that's not real anymore. Um, yeah, I don't know why Dick, why Dick's being sad, but it just, um, it lost this really important level right here and 2818 would have been, uh, you know, SR flip, test, 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 I all right, should have bumped from there. I don't know what the deal is with the DYDX, Dick's, but it's come all the way down to the 200 day moving average and it's consolidating there. What uh, I do know about DYDX is that they've had so many token releases yeah um but surely by now that selling has to be done yeah um you know they've had some massive token token releases here so yeah, yeah. yeah that 200 day ma that horizontal and you know what yeah. there's even a 786 fib on that 200 day ma okay so not the worst no, position yeah. to be holding oh, well. DYDX. yeah yeah if you take that yeah yep. that. that's it yep 786 there um do you think this is just because of dilution because you're releasing so many tokens? I think so. They've, they've just been dumping tokens on the market. It's just been, yeah. if you look at, you can track what they've been doing. But uh, I think fundamentally, yeah. they are a strong project. Uh, yeah. I don't think That's what we keep thinking it's going to go somewhere. But Yeah. So again, guys, 786, power. 200 day MA, power. Horizontal, yep. power. We know that. Yep. Okay. So yep. is it worth having a look? Yeah. At this, at, uh, at a level like that, big yep. horizontal. Um, yep. Yeah, in fact, I, I really like the look of this. Am I, I going to get that... pulled into this DYDX trap again? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's a weekly okay. level. Ooh. It's a weekly level as well. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, when you guys see me tomorrow, I might have loaded into a DYDX trap. Okay, <laughs> Bruce, you thanks for hanging. hanging. <laughs> You're welcome. You go. Everybody, everybody. see you in Sniper Club. Later. Ciao, ciao. Uh, guys, okay, again, 5 million tokens one more time. Um, yeah, I just can't get enough of these altcoins. Uh, ETF news, nobody knows which way we're going to go. Literally, nobody knows. Uh, those who said we're going up and they get it right, well, they're going to tell you they knew the whole time. Those that said we're going down, they're going to tell you they knew the whole time, but they actually don't know. They're just guessing. Uh, all we can do is work on solid areas. And uh, again, identify in your altcoins, your big solid zones lower down. Identify your TP zones higher up in case we get a pump and you are sitting in these coins, make sure you have some TP set up because just now they pump us and then they reverse us uh, immediately. So make sure you know your areas, big areas, and give yourself space. Give yourself 15, 20% up, 15, 20% down. Look for these big zones. And uh, maybe you're going to get a buy or a sell uh, in an area because if we do get some mad moves here, uh, they could potentially happen very quickly so for me as you know i've de-risked a lot i'm trading a lot less at the moment while we're waiting i am still obviously in a few positions and uh, i do have some buy orders and things like that for spot stuff uh, set lower down and, and let's see how it goes you know if we are in a position and we pump that's awesome but if you're in too many positions and it dumps that's where you can get potentially uh, really hurt so just uh, again guys just play it safe tomorrow maybe some news tomorrow you know maybe we're yeah maybe we're going to be playing breakouts or maybe we're going to be looking for levels lower let's see how we go um cool see you guys tomorrow later